Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of Dragon Prince Yuan season 3 episode number 6 based on novel. So let's start. Three days swiftly passed under the expectant gazes of the disciples. On the giant plaza, several thousand disciples were gathered like a giant black mass that was boiling with noise. The face of every disciple present was filled with nervousness and excitement. Today was the day they stepped into the inner mountains. Zhu Yuan and Yao Yao stood within the crowd, Xiao Xiao, Zhao Kuan, Song Wanqi, Shen Wanjin and numerous other disciples crowding around them. The gaze of any disciple that looked over was tinged with deep respect. The peak selection ceremony three days ago had already taught them who had best concealed their abilities in this batch of outer mountain disciples. Zhu Yuan sighed faintly when he saw these gazes. Three months ago, they had been in this very same place. However, no one paid them any attention back then, and were even openly laughing at him due to his first-class disciple status. No one would have imagined that the young man they laughed at back then would become so dazzling in the peak selection ceremony three months later such that no one dared to even look directly at him. Zhao Kuan patted his chest and boldly declared, Young brother Yuan, if there's anything you require in the inner mountains in the future, just call us and we will surely come to help. The others sincerely nodded in agreement, gratitude in their gazes when they looked towards Zhu Yuan. The fact that they were able to enter the top ten was undoubtedly due to his help. Zhu Yuan merely smiled in response. Xiao Xiao regretfully said, But why did young brother Yuan choose the Saint Genesis Peak? Many disciples would avoid it if they could. Zhu Yuan chuckled, but did not explain. He knew that many people felt his choice to be very illogical, but he could not possibly tell them he was doing for a saint rune, right? While they were conversing, seven streaks of light suddenly appeared from the horizon, transforming into seven Genesis Qi clouds that ultimately arrived above the plaza. When the Genesis Qi clouds came to a stop, the numerous disciples discovered seven figures standing atop them. Powerful Genesis Qi pressure spread from their bodies, immediately causing the bustling plaza to fall silent. The seven figures swept their gazes across the plaza as a powerful voice sounded, We are the envoys from the seven peaks that have been sent to receive you. If you are ready, follow us into the inner mountains. Excitement buzzed in the numerous disciples on the plaza again, the disciples no longer able to restrain their voices. The seven envoys merely chuckled upon seeing this, taking no action to silence them. They too had after all experienced the same thing many years ago, and knew how excited and overwhelmed these young men and women were. The seven waved their sleeves as surging Genesis Chi whizzed out. Genesis Chi rose from the plaza, transforming into clouds that carried all the disciples into the sky. Clouds swept across the horizon while the numerous disciples excitedly watched the mountains rapidly pass by under their feet. The journey lasted for an entire incense stick of time, before the many disciples felt their speed began to slow. Are we here? The disciples hurriedly looked to their front. However, they were soon stunned, because the scene before them was still the same endless mountain ranges, no sign the so-called inner mountains. Yao Yao carried Tuntun as her clear eyes squinted slightly for a moment. She observed the space before them as she mumbled to herself, what an amazing Genesis rune boundary. I can't believe a subspace can be created. The moment her words faded, Zhu Yuan saw Genesis Qi rise from the sleeves of the seven envoys. Seven streams of Genesis Qi interweaved, seemingly forming a seal of sorts that slowly fused into the space to their front. Next, the numerous disciples watched in shock as the space before them began to ripple, before slowly tearing open. In that instant, it was as if boundless Genesis Qi spouted out from within as the world before their eyes began to change. The originally empty land was now filled with countless flying creatures, the calls of birds ringing across the area. Majestic mountain after mountain rose from the ground, thrusting straight into the clouds. Magnificent waterfalls poured down these giant peaks like silver rivers, the thundering of crashing water filling the ears. There were even giant Genesis Chi clouds floating in the sky. On the clouds stood numerous halls and other buildings, while uncountable glowing figures whizzed across the sky on their Genesis Chi. It was practically a picture of a grand celestial palace. The numerous disciples were dumbstruck, as they stared at the heavenly scene before their eyes. The seven envoys chuckled as they gazed at the shocked disciples. With a wave of their sleeves, the Genesis Chi clouds carrying them flew into the crack. Once they were in, everyone felt rich Genesis Chi flood towards them, causing calmness to wash over their hearts, while the Genesis Chi in their bodies growing more lively. 
the concentration and abundance of Genesis Chi here was evidently greater than the outer mountains. Eh, what is that? A disturbance suddenly rose, and Zhu Yuan followed the voices and lifted his head to look into the distance. What he saw was a towering peak standing on a thick layer of Genesis Chi clouds in the sky. On the mountain a wall that was as smooth as a mirror and flickered dazzlingly. At the top of the wall were two giant golden words that seemed to give off a mighty aura, drawing everyone's attention. Chosen's Peak. There was feverish look in the eyes of some disciples as they cried out in surprise, is this the Chosen's Peak? Even more individuals curiously asked, what is the Chosen's Peak? In our Tsangshuan sect, every generation of disciples will compete to determine the ten strongest individuals, and these ten are known as the Tsangshuan sects, ten great Chosen's, the ones that stand at the apex of all the disciples. To encourage the other disciples, the Tsangshuan sect established the Chosen's Peak, and inscribed the names of the ten Chosen's upon it such that they may enjoy the respect and admiration of numerous disciples. It can be said that becoming one of the ten great Chosen's and leaving one's name on the Chosen's Peak is the ultimate dream that every Tsangshuan disciple chases. The many disciples gasped when they heard this, before their gazes turned towards the Chosen's Peak with respect. Zhu Yuan also looked towards the smooth wall in wonder. His gaze moved from bottom to top. Zhao Zhu, ranked 10th, Sword Cometh Peak. Yi Ji ranked 9th, Spirit Rune Peak. Zhu Yuan's gaze moved past them one by one. He could feel the heaviness seemingly contained within each name, making no one dare to underestimate them. Shong Chuanqiu, ranked 4th, Hongya Peak. Li Qingchan, ranked 3rd, Snow Lotus Peak. Kong Xing, ranked 2nd, Sword Cometh Peak. Chu Qing, Ranked first, Sangshuan Peak. The numerous disciples were absolutely silent, respect in their burning gazes as they stared at the ten names that had been carved into the wall. Zhu Yuan's eyes also flickered. He knew that these ten individuals were the most outstanding amongst this generation. However, he found that not a single person was from Saint Genesis Peak. He awkwardly scratched his head and laughed helplessly. It seems that Saint Genesis Peak was indeed a little pitiful, the Chosen's Peak stood within the clouds shining brilliantly, as it drew respectful gazes from numerous disciples. They knew that the ten disciples who had left their names on the Chosen's Peak were definitely existences that stood at the pinnacle of this generation. In other words, they were akin to kings amongst the innumerable Tsangshuan disciples that looked down at everyone from the peak. Envy was present in the eyes of countless disciples, hoping that they would one day get to experience the same thing. What kind of scenery would greet their eyes if they could one day leave their names on the Chosen's Peak? However, their rationality allowed them to understand that reaching it would require a tremendous amount of effort and luck. Currently, besides the top ten of the ceremony, every other disciple was the ordinary black sash disciples in the outer mountains. In front of them, stood the gold and purple sash disciples. As for the ten great chosens, only the most talented and outstanding purple sash disciples would be able to compete for such a title. In fact, some of the slightly weaker purple sash disciples may not even have the courage. From this, one could see how great of a distance there was between them and the ten great chosens, a gap akin to the mud on the ground and the clouds in the sky. Recently promoted inner mountain disciples like them basically did not even have the qualifications to come into contact with the ten great chosens, because they were on completely different levels. While the numerous disciples sighed, the seven envoys suddenly took action. The Genesis Chi cloud immediately split into seven separate pieces. We will not bring you guys to the peaks you belong to this is where you shall part ways for the time being. Upon hearing the seven envoys' words, the disciples hurriedly began to say their goodbyes to their friends and companions. For a time, the atmosphere was exceptionally busy and warm. Zhu Yuan looked around. Xiao Xiao, Zhao Kuan, Song Wanxi and the rest had already split up, but there's still one familiar figure following him. It was the fatty Shen Wan Jin. Compared to the other six peaks, the disciples entering Saint Genesis Peak seemed pitifully few in number, merely amounting to a few hundred individuals. This was already after sect master Ching Yang had given some consideration for Saint Genesis Peak and forcibly allocated some of the disciples to it. If not, even less disciples would have selected Saint Genesis Peak. As for Shen Wanjin, he was one of the disciples that had been forcibly allocated. However, compared to the bitter faces on the other disciples, Shen Wanjin was beaming happily, as if not the least bit disappointed. Ju Yuan could not help but smile as he asked, aren't you disappointed? Shen Wanjin's smile turned to one of flattery as he replied, I have a feeling that if I follow little Yuan bro, 
even if St. Genesis Peak collapses, you'll still thrive well. Thus, I will follow you wherever you go. He then looked towards Yao Yao and said, Moreover, isn't there also boss sister Xiao Yao? Zhu Yuan could not hold back his laughter. This fellow was really planning on depending on him till the end. However, he did not say anything with regards to this. He felt Shen Wanjin was a pretty decent person, and they could watch each other's backs since they were both going to St. Genesis Peak. That's right, little Yuan bro, junior sister Ji Yu Hongyi asked me to pass you this letter. Shen Wanjin suddenly fished out a rolled up parchment. Ju Yuan was stunned. He received it and opened it, revealing the graceful words written upon it. Be careful of Lu Hong. Lu Hong. Ju Yuan frowned a little. He had found out three days ago that one of the three elders of St. Genesis Peak was called Lu Hong. But why had Ji Yu Hongyi warned him about the former? Ju Yuan's gaze flickered and eventually pieced the puzzle together. Lu, could he be from the Lu clan of Lu Feng and Lu Xianyin? He had indeed previously heard Lu Feng mention a senior member of the Lu clan was a high-ranking elder of Sword Cometh Peak. But wasn't this Saint Genesis Peak? He raised his head and looked towards another Genesis Qi cloud in the distance where Ji Yu Hongyi was located. The latter winked at him upon sensing his gaze. Ju Yuan gave a slight nod, indicating his thanks. At this moment, the seven envoys waved their sleeves, causing the Genesis Qi clouds to move flying towards several different locations in the inner mountains of the Tsangshuan sect. The envoy from St. Genesis Peak landed in front of Zhu Yuan and the rest. He appeared to a middle-aged and good-natured person, smiling as he said to everyone, I am the one of the stewards of St. Genesis Peak's ushering office. You may address me as Steward Fang Zhen. The numerous disciples hurriedly greeted him. I'll be bringing you guys to St. Genesis Peak. Fang Zhen waved his hand, and the cloud rose, carrying the many disciples as it disappeared into the distance. The Genesis Qi cloud flew past countless ancient palaces in the clouds, the many mountains hiding amongst them. Streaks of light would shoot past one after another, most of them youthful figures. However, every single one possessed powerful Genesis Qi, either black or gold sashes tied around their waists. Compared to the outer mountains, the inner mountains truly revealed the foundations of the Tsangshuan sect. Half an incense stick of time later, Fang Zhen gradually dropped their speed. Zhu Yuan and the rest lifted their heads at this moment, and saw an unbroken mountain range rise into the sky to their front, plunging into the clouds. These mountains were dotted by numerous buildings, a spectacular, majestic sight to behold. Mysterious undulations spread from between the mountains, making one's heart beat faster. This is Saint Genesis Peak. Upon hearing Fang Zhen's words, the many disciples cast their gazes over, soaking in the sight of the mist-covered mountains. It was as if real dragons were hidden within the mists that none of them were able to clearly see through. However, they were still able to feel the mysterious pressure that spread from inside. The main peak of our Saint Genesis Peak was sealed after Patriarch Kang Xian's death, but in accordance to the rules, I will still bring all of you to the foot of the main peak to pay homage. Fang Jin chuckled, before directing the cloud towards the most majestic peak in the mists. It was so tall that they were unable to see its peak as they landed at the bottom. An old hall sat at the foot of the mountain. When Fang Zhen landed, his expression turned solemn. The sight of his appearance made the many disciples not dare to make any noise, maintaining the solemn and quiet atmosphere. In front of the old hall was a stone plaza. The disciples found that it was currently empty, the only presence a hunched back old man wearing simple hemp clothing slowly sweeping the fallen leaves on it. When their gazes swept across him, they discovered that there were no Genesis Qi undulations from the old man, who faintly trembled as he went about his work. Hence, they paid no further attention to him. However, when Fang Zhen saw the old man, he solemnly bowed. The old man did not respond, as if he was deaf and mute. Fang Zhen turned towards the disciples and said in a low voice, This senior used to be the patriarch's servant, and can be considered the one who has followed the patriarch the longest. However, due to his lack of talent, his Genesis Qi cultivation is only at the elementary level. On account of his loyalty, the Patriarch gathered numerous previous Genesis resources to synthesize a longevity pill for him, bestowing him long life. On this topic, he is not any less senior than the Thunder Prison Peak Master Lei Jun. His character is rather eccentric, and is not fond of wielding power and influence. After the Patriarch's death, he has been staying here at St. Genesis Peak as its caretaker. Fang Zhen sternly said, Don't be slow, call him Old Xian. The disciples did not dare to delay, 
hurriedly bowing towards the old man. Zhu Yuan also looked towards the old man in amazement. Patriarch Kang Xian had never told him this information back then. It was likely because that Patriarch Kang Xian was only a fraction of his will. Zhu Yuan's gaze leaped past the foot of the mountain, following the mountain path, as he looked towards the main peak that was concealed by the mists. The instant he did this, he suddenly felt the ancient saint rune hidden in the depths of his pupils seem to tremble slightly for a moment. Although it was faint, he caused Zhu Yuan's heart to violently shudder, the emotions in his heart akin to a raging sea. However, his expression remained calm though the hands inside his fists clenched tightly in excitement. This was the first time he had felt such a reaction from the decoder saint rune. Looks like it was exactly as Patriarch Kang Xian had said, the second saint rune was indeed on the main peak. However, the main peak was currently sealed, so how was he going to enter? Zhu Yuan's gaze withdrew from the mysterious mist-covered main peak, frowning as he helplessly sighed in his heart. He was already certain that the second saint rune was here, but the problem now was how he was going to enter. After all, he could not possibly reveal any information about the second saint rune. If he did, it would likely bring disaster, because he did not know whether there was any problem with the internal circle of the Tsangshuan sect. In addition, the saint runes were related to the Tsangshuan saint stamp. Anyone who possessed it would have the chance to become the master of Tsangshuan heaven, an existence that stood above the numerous sects. The temptation to own it was far too great, and Zhu Yuan was currently too weak to safeguard such an object. Zhu Yuan pondered for a bit, before he suddenly looked towards Steward Fang Jing and asked, Teacher Uncle Fang, when will this main peak of our Saint Genesis peak be unsealed? Fang Jing was an easygoing person after all, and answered with a smile, Truthfully speaking, it is not difficult to unseal, one would only require the peak master seal of Saint Genesis peak to undo the seal. However, the current problem is that we have no peak master. Besides this, the peak master seal was left in the main peak by the patriarch, while the seal over it was personally set up by the him. The stronger one is, the more likely one would be attacked by the seal. Even sect master Ching Yang does not dare to enter so easily. Zhu Yuan's head began to swell after hearing this. Then has our Saint Genesis peak not considered selecting a peak master? Zhu Yuan asked another question. Since they could not get a hold of the peak master seal for the time being, they should still at least be able to choose a peak master, right? The current Saint Genesis peak was basically without a leader. Fang Jing helplessly laughed and said, according to the rules of our Tsangshuan sect, the peak master seal is the token that signifies the identity of the peak master. Without it, one would not legitimately be recognized. Moreover, the seven peak master seals were personally made by the patriarch, and are also extremely powerful ultimate treasures that possess unlimited power. They can be said to be the ultimate treasure of the Tsangshuan sect. That is why our Saint Genesis peak needs the Saint Genesis peak master seal in order to select a peak master. Not only was Zhu Yuan now speechless, even the other disciples looked to each other with bitter smiles. To pick a peak master, the peak master seal was required, but the seal had been sealed in the main peak that no one could access. Wasn't this basically an impossible loop? Does sect master and the rest have no way around this? Zhu Yuan appeared as if he was an extremely concerned for their Saint Genesis peak. Fang Zheng was under the impression that Zhu Yuan was worried as a Saint Genesis peak disciple, causing him to smile and say, they have thought of a way. The seal on the main peak seems to respond more strongly the stronger someone is, hence why even the combined might of sect master and the other hegemons may not succeed. After trying out various methods, sect master and the rest discovered that the disciples would have a better chance. Thus, sect master and the rest discussed and decided to let the chief disciples of Saint Genesis Peak take on this important task. At this point, Fang Jing smiled bitterly as he shook his head. However, not a single one has succeeded after so many years. Why? A disciple could not help but ask. An awkward look rose on Fang Jing's face. He coughed in embarrassment and said, There is definitely some disparity between our Saint Genesis Peak is and the other six peaks. The chief disciples of the other six peaks are always part of the ten great chosens, but the chief disciple of our Tsangshuan Peak has never been able to reach such heights for many years. The expression of the numerous disciples immediately turned somewhat ugly. After beating about the bush for so long, it turns out that the chief disciples from their Saint Genesis Peak was just not strong enough to carry out the important task of retrieving the peak master seal from the main peak. A feeling of defeat rose in the hearts of the disciples. Saint Genesis Peak was indeed really pathetic. 
This was not a good home at all. Upon detecting the gloomy atmosphere, Fang Jing hastily said, but you guys need not worry. This problem will soon be resolved. The many disciples shot puzzled gazes over. Fang Jing explained, the failure of the Saint Genesis Peak chief disciples over the years has also come to the attention of sect master Ching Yang and the rest. Hence, during another discussion, Peak Master Ling Jun suggested his sword Cometh Peak send Elder Lu Hong and the disciples under him to our Saint Genesis Peak. There are many talented disciples under Elder Lu Hong, his first disciple Yuan Hong an outstanding individual even amongst the rest. Even in Sword Cometh Peak, that is full of capable individuals, he is strong enough to be ranked third. Although Yuan Hong is not part of the Ten Great Chosens, he is one of the individuals that has the potential to replace them. So if Yuan Hong is able to become the chief disciple of Saint Genesis Peak, after the test in a year, he would be given the chance to enter the main peak to attempt retrieving the Peak Master Seal. Once he succeeds, our Saint Genesis Peak will be able to select a Peak Master again. The numerous disciples looked at each other, the corners of their mouths twitching as an even greater wave of defeat washed over their hearts. So Saint Genesis Peak had been unable to resolve the matter themselves, and ended up having another peak send their disciples over to take their chief disciple position. This seemed to be a little humiliating. However, they also understood that it was because the Saint Genesis Peak disciples were no good, and failed to fulfill the important task that had been placed on their shoulders. When the disciples thought about it, it did seem that Elder Lu Hong was quite capable, and their lives may perhaps be better if they could join his group. While such thoughts swelled in the minds of numerous disciples, Zhu Yuan and Yao Yao exchanged a look and frowned slightly. Wasn't Lu Hong Lu Feng and Lu Xuanin's elder? Zhu Yuan's gaze flickered in thought. If the disciples under Lu Hong were allowed to retrieve the Peak Master Seal, wouldn't Lu Hong make use of this contribution to become the Peak Master of Saint Genesis Peak? Although he had yet to meet this Lu Hong character, Zhu Yuan felt that it would not bode well for him if Lu Hong became the Saint Genesis Peak Master. Most importantly, Zhu Yuan did not know whether the former would discover the existence of the second Saint Rune after becoming Peak Master. Before confirming whether there was any hidden danger in the Tsangshuan sect, Zhu Yuan felt that it was best that no one found out about the second Saint Rune. In the worst case, not only would he fail to obtain the second Saint Rune, others may even realize that he already had one. No one knew if this would be a blessing or a disaster for him if that happened. How troublesome! Zhu Yuan could not help but sigh in his heart. However, there was nothing much he could do for the time being, and could only take things one step at a time. After all, there was still about a year before chief disciple selection came. Fang Jing clapped his hands at this moment and said, since all of you have paid homage to the main peak, we'll continue on our way. I'll bring you guys to meet the three elders where you will choose which elder to follow, and formally become disciples of our Saint Genesis Peak. After speaking, he waved his sleeve as a Genesis Chi cloud rose under everyone's feet, lifting the group into the air again. As the Genesis Chi cloud rose into the sky, the sweeping hunched elder finally paused and slowly raised his aged face to look at the departing disciples, as a tiny sliver of bewilderment flitted across his murky eyes. Why do I sense a faint hint of something familiar? He mumbled to himself in a raspy voice. Saint Genesis Peak on the slant of a certain mountain was a stone plaza that is currently a boiling cauldron of voices. Under Fang Jing's lead, Zhu Yuan and the numerous other new Saint Genesis Peak disciples were now gathered here, their gazes currently directed to their front with curiosity and respect. On the tall stage in front of them were three mats on raised pedestals on which three elderly figures sat a day. Boundless Genesis Qi surged around them like the immeasurable sea, giving off an indescribable pressure. These three old men were obviously the three elders of Saint Genesis Peak. The one in the middle is Elder Shantai Yuan, on the right is Elder Lu Song, and on the far left is Elder Lu Hong. Fang Jing secretly introduced them to the new disciples. Elder Shantai Yuan wore black robes and had a cold, stern face that gave off an aura of strictness. Elder Lu Song on the other hand was dressed in blue robes, widely grinning like a smiling Buddha. As for Elder Lu Hong, he wore a calm expression that was neither happy nor angry. However, when his uncaring gaze swept past, a flash of sword light would surface, making it such that no one dared to meet his gaze. Behind these three elders were numerous figures, which were likely the disciples of Saint Genesis Peak. On their waists hung black or gold sashes, while every individual gave off a powerful presence. However, although they were all Saint Genesis disciples, Zhu Yuan could sense a clear distinction between the three groups. The ones of the left and center were still okay, 
but there was a substantial gap between them and the group on the far left. Moreover, sparks seemed to fly whenever their gazes met, making the atmosphere somewhat uncomfortable. As for the group on the far left, their presence seemed a little colder and sterner. A sliver of arrogance could be seen in their eyes, contempt occasionally flashing within them when they looked towards the other two groups of disciples. Although the left group was slightly smaller in number, their presence was the strongest amongst the three. At the front of each of the three groups stood several remarkable-looking figures. On their waists hung purple sashes, clearly marking them as the highest-ranked purple sash disciples. These purple sash disciples were gathered around three figures in particular. Behind Eldershan was a tall, large youth. He appeared calm and steady, while a determined unyieldingness spread from between his brows. Genesis Chi faintly pulsed around him, making him feel rather imposing. This individual was called Ju Tai, and was the eldest disciple under Shintai Yuan, while also one of the top contenders for the chief disciple position. Behind Elder Lu Song gracefully stood a girl dressed in white. Pretty features adorned her goose egg-shaped face that gleamed like jade, her skin white as snow. She also boasted an amazing figure, alarming curves that started from her chest and suddenly sloped inwards at her slender waist. Many disciples in the vicinity would sneak glances at her rather often. However, her expression was cold and proud. When the purple sash that curled around her waist was also thrown into the mix, it made many disciples feel inferior in comparison. Her name was Lu Yang, and was not only Elder Lu Song's eldest disciple, but also his granddaughter. She was currently the strongest disciple under Elder Lu Song. The third disciple that stood behind Elder Lu Hong was an expressionless young man. His arms were folded across his chest, his fingers appearing rather thin and withered. Sharp light faintly flashed on his fingertips like sword light. His eyes had been shut from start to end, paying no attention to anyone. However, any gaze that looked towards him would contain a sliver of fear and respect. Even the likes of Ju Tai and Lu Yang were a little wary of the former. This individual was called Yuan Hong, and was the strongest disciple under Elder Lu Hong. He was the one who was said to be ranked third even in Sword Cometh Peak, and was extremely powerful. He was also the strongest contender for this bat's chief disciple. These three individuals were the strongest amongst the numerous Saint Genesis Peak disciples. At this moment, Fang Jing took a step forward, cupped his fists together towards the three elders and respectfully reported, Elders, I have brought the new disciples. The solemn-looking elder Shen in the middle nodded, before his stern gaze swept forth as he said in a low voice, Since you've chosen Saint Genesis Peak, all of you will be disciples of Saint Genesis Peak from today onwards. I'll not waste any time. Our Saint Genesis Peak currently only has three teaching elders. In accordance to the rules, the disciples may choose who to follow. The place fell silent as the numerous disciples secretly began to size up the three elders while their gazes flickered in thought, clearly weighing their options. While they sorted their thoughts in silence, a figure suddenly walked out from behind Elder Lu Hong. It was a golden sash disciple that gave off a sharp and formidable presence, pride visible in his eyes. His gaze swept across all the disciples, before he faintly smiled and said, I am Wu Gang, and I believe my fellow junior disciples already know that Teacher Lu was originally from Sword Cometh Peak. We have come to Saint Genesis Peak, bearing the heavy task of retrieving the Peak Master Seal. It is an important mission that Saint Genesis Peak has yet to fulfill after many years, so it has now fallen on our shoulders. If any of my juniors wish to take on this important task with us, you should join Teacher Lu's faction. As his words spread, the disciples of Elder Shen and Elder Lu Song began to stir, anger appearing on the faces of many of them. Wu Gang's words were too obviously aimed at them. Elder Shen Tai Yuan glanced at Elder Lu Hong and indifferently said, Your disciples' words are truly akin to a sword, no mercy at all. The clean-shaven Elder Lu Hong laughed as he nonchalantly replied, Our sword cometh peak cultivates sword qi after all, and are naturally direct and straightforward, never hiding our blades. I hope that Elder Shen will no take offense. Shintai Yuan coldly snorted inside, but knew that he should not push the topic. After all, it had been the sect master and the other peak master's decision to send Lu Hong and his group to Saint Genesis Peak. He too was rather helpless with regards to this, because Saint Genesis Peak had indeed never succeeded after so many years. If the Saint Genesis Peak chief disciple position was to land in the hands of Lu Hong's faction, and they managed to retrieve the peak master seal, the two original factions of Saint Genesis Peak would truly lose all face. Shin Taiyuan looked towards Lu Song, only to see the latter helplessly shake his head. Saint Genesis Peak 
was after all unable to match the other six peaks. All the better disciples would be taken away by the other six peaks, naturally leading to them growing stronger and stronger, while the Saint Genesis Peak disciples lagged further and further behind. Now, their Saint Genesis Peak was unable to produce even a single one of the ten great chosens. While they were speaking, Wu Gang's words had already begun to work their magic. Most of the new disciples here had been forcibly allocated to Saint Genesis Peak, and were thus naturally overjoyed to see Elder Lu Hong's faction that came from Sword Cometh Peak. The Sword Cometh Peak was, after all, one of the most popular choices amongst the Outer Mountain disciples. As such, the disciples stirred for a bit, before nearly half of them began to flood towards Wu Gang. The sight of this caused the expressions of the disciples from the other two factions to turn a little ugly. The cold, arrogant young lady called Lu Yang clenched her teeth, seething as she viciously glared at the disciples that had moved and angrily said, a bunch of favor currying fellows. We don't want them anyways. A pleased smile was revealed on Wu Gang's face at the sight of this, before he turned to the remaining disciples on the plaza. These disciples stood behind Zhu Yuan, evidently waiting for him to make his decision. After all, Zhu Yuan was the champion of the peak selection ceremony and possessed a degree of influence. Seeing that he had yet to choose, the other disciples also decided to observe for the time being. Wu Gang's gaze swept across Zhu Yuan, an unknown light flashing in his eyes, before he looked towards Elder Lu Hong. The latter's eyes cracked open slightly, and cast an indifferent glance at Zhu Yuan. However, Elder Lu Hong did not speak, merely nodding towards Wu Gang. Wu Gang chuckled upon seeing this, before he turned to Zhu Yuan and said, This junior brother must be the champion of this batch's peak selection ceremony. I've long heard of your famous name. Our teacher Lu also rather admires you, and although you only managed to by some fluke take first place from junior brother Lu Feng, given how open-minded teacher Lu is, he will naturally do his best to guide you if you join his faction. His tone was rather provocative, seemingly not caring much about the so-called champion of the peak selection ceremony. Instead, it felt as if it was Zhu Yuan's fortune to be given the chance to join them. Wu Gang grinned as he stared at Zhu Yuan. What do you think about your senior brother's words? Do you want to join teacher Lu's faction? At this moment, Shen Tai Yuan and Lu Song cast their gazes over. Behind them, the numerous disciples, including Zhu Tai and Lu Yang also looked over. They had evidently also heard that the champion of the ceremony had chosen to go to St. Genesis Peak. This was a very rare occurrence. Under the numerous watching gazes, Zhu Yuan smiled at Wu Gang and said, There are many talented geniuses, as the clouds cultivating under Teacher Lu, and being able to join them is indeed an honor. Upon hearing Zhu Yuan's words, Wu Gang immediately laughed as he smirked slightly, clearly feeling that there was nothing special about this bat's champion. After the former joined them, they would throw him out at any time if junior sister Lu Xianyan wanted to vent her anger. A trace of disappointment flowed out in the eyes of Zhu Tai and Lu Yang when they saw this. Lu Yang coldly remarked, the champion of this batch really has no backbone. Humph, the champion of the previous generation was senior brother Chu Qing, who has now become the leader of the Ten Chosens. Zhu Yuan is a far cry from him. When she talked about senior brother Chu Qing, her eyes would ripple slightly in adoration. Not bad, your judgment is pretty good. Wu Gang pointed at Zhu Yuan and nodded with a smile. Since that is the case, in the future. However, just as he was about to willfully appoint some silly duties, Zhu Yuan's voice sounded again. But it is exactly, because there are so many talented disciples under Teacher Lu, that I feel that I would only be akin to a useless decoration there. That's why. I feel that the other factions will suit me better. Wu Gang's voice came to an abrupt halt, his fingers still pointing at Zhu Yuan as the expression on his face turned stiff little by little. When Zhu Yuan's voice sounded once again on the stone plaza, it caused the atmosphere to instantly freeze as gaze after gaze was cast over in shock. No one had expected Zhu Yuan to favor the other two factions. After all, out of St. Genesis Peak's three current factions, Lu Hong's was clearly the most superior. However, this choice was no surprise to Zhu Yuan himself. From the very beginning, he had already decided not to choose Lu Hong's faction. It was because he could feel a tiny sliver of hostility, in Wu Gang's words, and Elder Lu Hong's seemingly unconcerned gaze, hostility that was likely due to his relationship with Lu Feng and Lu Xianyin. Elder Lu Hong was obviously far from being as open-minded as Wu Gang had said. Zhu Yuan could already foresee the endless amount of trouble that would be sent his way if he joined Lu Hong's faction. Furthermore, 
it would more than likely that Lu Hong would not support him if Lu Xianyan and Lu Feng came seeking revenge, and instead easily discard him to appease the two of them. Therefore, Zhu Yuan would most certainly eliminate Lu Hong's faction from his choices to avoid such trouble. After all, he felt that as long as he was provided with cultivation resources, it would not make much of difference regardless of which group he joined. Truthfully speaking, as the possessor of the Decoder Saint Rune, Zhu Yuan did not require anyone to guide him in the area of Genesis techniques. Zhu Yuan's rejection also stunned the disciples under Elder Shen Tai Yuan and Elder Lu Song. Zhu Yuan's choice had likewise surpassed their expectations. This junior brother is somewhat interesting. Zhu Tai grinned, a trace of admiration now present in his gaze when he looked towards Zhu Yuan. Lu Yang's cheeks balanced slightly for a while, the icy haughtiness on her pretty face fading substantially as she said, at least he has some backbone. The other disciples from the two factions also cast friendly and welcoming gazes towards Zhu Yuan. In contrast, hostility began to rise in the eyes of the disciples under Elder Lu Hong, their slightly chilly gazes looking towards Zhu Yuan. It was obvious that they felt Zhu Yuan's rejection to be an act of humiliation towards their group. Especially Wu Gang, whose expression fluctuated indeterminately between anger and embarrassment. He had previously been under the impression that Zhu Yuan had tactfully chosen to join them. Who could have imagined that his earlier words were merely a ruse, turning the former's earlier words into a joke? You? Wu Gang's gaze turned piercingly chilly as he stared at Zhu Yuan and sarcastically said, Junior brother Zhu Yuan really has character, it seems that you believe that as the champion of the peak selection ceremony, Teacher Lu's faction cannot do without you. Do you really think that every champion is like that Sun Xuan Peak senior brother Chu Qing? There was no lack of mockery in his words. There were many champions of the peak selection ceremony in that Sun Xuan sect. After all, there was one for each generation of disciples. Amongst them, there were no lack of amazingly successful disciples, but at the same time also many that ultimately fell back into mediocrity. After rebuking Zhu Yuan, Wu Gang's tone soft slightly as he said, Junior brother Zhu Yuan, you do have some talent, but I advise not to be too rash. If you fail to grasp this opportunity, regret will do nothing for you in the future. Zhu Yuan merely chuckled in response. Teacher Lu's faction is not too unsuitable for me, senior brother Wu Gang does not need to speak any further about this. Wu Gong's words were always secretly threatening him, something that Zhu Yuan very much dislikes. Hence, he could no longer be bothered to talk it out nicely. Wu Gang's eyes hardened as an ominous look appeared on his face. He was about to speak again, but saw Elder Lu Hong open his eyes, indifference within them as he waved at the former. Hence, Wu Gang closed his mouth and venomously glared at Zhu Yuan. Lu Hong nonchalantly said, forget about it since he is not willing. We do not lack a so-called champion of the peak selection ceremony. He did not give Zhu Yuan a second glance. In his opinion, not joining them was undoubtedly destroying one's own future. Once Zhu Yuan began to experience hardships in the future, he would naturally begin to understand how foolish he had been today. Moreover, it was only a champion of the peak selection ceremony, someone who was merely number one amongst the outer mountain disciples. Who in the inner mountains had not gone through rigorous and careful selection? Zhu Yuan would soon understand what it meant to vanish into averageness. Lu Hong had originally been a little interested in this bat's champion. If the latter could be recruited, Lu Hong would first make him apologize to Lu Xianyan and Lu Feng before giving him proper guidance. But from the looks of it, this individual was clearly not going to cooperate. Wu Gang understood Lu Hong's character and knew from his words that Zhu Yuan's actions had already turned off Teacher Lu. A gloating smile immediately revealed itself on Wu Gang's face. However, Zhu Yuan paid no attention to them. He really disliked Lu Hong from the bottom of his heart, and did not know what kind of terrible future awaited him if he were to join the latter's faction. Hence, his gaze turned towards Elder Shen Tai Yuan and Elder Lu Song as he cupped his fists together and said, This disciple hopes to study under either of the two elders. Shintai Yuan and Lu Song exchanged a look as their expressions softened somewhat. They too never imagined that Zhu Yuan would actually end up rejecting Lu Hong. Shintai Yuan's stern face was now much more relaxed than before. He was a rather inflexible and old-fashioned person by nature, but treated his disciples with amazing earnesty. Hence, numerous disciples both respected and feared him in Saint Genesis Peak. He looked towards Elder Lu Song and asked, What does Elder Lu Song think? Elder Lu Song laughed and said, as the one who became the champion of the peak selection ceremony, 
he's naturally a good seedling. This old man is tempted, but you should know that I'm a pretty mischievous one. The little guy will likely ended wasting much time with me. Elder Lu Song knew that Shen Tai Yuan had been brooding over Elder Lu Hong's shift to St. Genesis Peak. However, due to the repeated failures for so many years, Shen Tai Yuan could only accept the arrangements made by Sect Master and the other hegemons. Although Shen Tai Yuan was strict and old fashioned, he did give his all when he came to his disciples. The only problem was that it was an exceedingly difficult task to find any good saplings to nature in their St. Genesis Peak. Hence why his disciples still found it hard to compete with the other peaks. Now that a champion of the peak selection ceremony had at long last came their way, and had even declined to join Lu Hong's faction, Lu Song knew that although Shen Tai Yuan appeared calm on the surface, his heart was surely churning with emotions. Lu Song knew that Shen Tai Yuan would never give up, and was definitely going to duke it out with Lu Hong. So I believe that it will best for this little guy to join Elder Shen's ranks. Lu Song smiled. Shin Tai Yuan's eyebrows moved, but that face of his remained impassive. After some silence, he nodded to Lu Song. Shin Tai Yuan gazed at Ju Yuan and said in a slightly soft voice, Since that's the case, you shall join us today, and I will earnestly guide you. Ju Yuan cupped his fists together towards Shin Tai Yuan and bowed. As Shin Tai Yuan watched, a smile finally surfaced on his stern face. With a wave of his hand, a flash of gold flew towards Ju Yuan, turning into a golden sash. Faint, complicated runes were etched onto the golden sash, as it gave off a peculiar ripple that was actually able to gather the surrounding Genesis Chi. It had clearly been inscribed with a Genesis Gathering rune, and could be said to be a support-type Genesis treasure. As the champion of the peak selection ceremony, I have bestowed upon you a gold sash. A rarely heard kindness could be detected in Shin Tai Yuan's voice. Thank you teacher Shin. Under the many envious gazes, Ju Yuan received the golden sash. He knew that he was now formally a gold sash disciple of Tsangshuan sect's inner mountains. This video will end here.